What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rolling out with a Sylveon team to finish up the end of Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, let's go get on top of that. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, join the Jeans community to stay up to date on all of my Pokemon content. Considering Scarlet and Violet comes out very, very soon, we're going to be having tons of content for you guys. So again, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out. But before we get started here with today's team preview, got to give a huge shout out to the team creator, DK Trading. Thank you so much for sending me this team in my Twitter DMs. Cannot wait to use it. Cannot wait to rock out with it. But if you guys want to go check out his social media pages and his YouTube page, link to all of those will be down in the description below. But with that out the way, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Wimscott. Wimscott obviously has been the best support mod in all the Pokemon Sword and Shield. Since the beginning to the end, this Pokemon has been top tier. It's got Prank as its ability, Rock and the Focus Sash as item, and then it's got Giga Drain, Fake Tears, Trick Room, and Tailwind for its moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be Yveltal. Yveltal is going to be a heavy hitter on the team, considering it can pair up with the Whimsicott with Fake Tears, or it can get his weakness policy proc by the Sylveon. This thing has Dark Aurora, weakness policy as item like we already mentioned, then it's got Sucker Punch, Heat Wave, Oblivion Wing, and Protect. Middle left is going to be Rolbum over here, solid Pokemon all around, really counters up on the Kyogres, the Storm Ring Gash Suns, and this is an all around great Pokemon. It's got Grassy Surge for the Terrain Control, Miracle Seed as its item, and it's got Fake Out, Grassy Glide, High Horsepower, and Protect for its form. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Sylveon. I feel like everybody loves Sylveon. I love Sylveon myself, and I feel like everybody does too. It's just such a cool Pokemon, and its design is absolutely amazing. It's got Pixelate as its ability, the Pixie Plate as its item, and then it's Rock and Quick Attack, Yawn, Protect, and Hyper Voice for its four moves. Bottom left-hand corner, it's Incineroar. That's all you guys need to know. We're not going to go over him. Final Pokemon on today's team is Kyogre. We're not going over him. It has Assault Vest and normal moves. Nothing too crazy with this team, besides it's Rock and Sylveon, so that's going to be a lot of fun to use. But guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with his Series 14 Sylveon team. Battle number one coming at you guys, going up against a Kyogre team that also features Xerneas, Charizard, Storm Drain, Gaston, Rillaboom, Snorlax, and I already said Xerneas, but Rillaboom has got to be in this team. We have to be bringing Rillaboom right here, considering he has the uh, Kyogre and the Storm Drain, Gaston. So Rillaboom, you're definitely rocking out with us. I might end up leading the Sylveon and Yveltal. Taking speed with maybe like a Dynamax Yveltal, I'm kind of liking it. So I'll go Sylveon, I'll go Yveltal, I'll bring Rillaboom in the back end, and then final Pokemon, I feel like Kyogre's got to be your Pokemon, right? Kyogre's pretty solid here. It doesn't work. I could... Mm, I don't think who else he can lead. He can potentially lead Xerneas and and try to set up a Geomance. But I feel like that's a stretch. I mean, that could be a pretty good play. Hmm, I could yawn it. I could always yawn it turn one and kind of go from there. But, you know, I'm just going to go Kyogre in the back end. I just feel like that's a solid play. If I can have Kyogre, I can go into an Ice Beam. I have Electric Moves, too. And if I have Rillaboom, I can definitely get rid of this one. So, I'm really liking that. We're going to bring Kyogre in the back end. And let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But before battle number one even starts, you guys got to head to the comment section down below. Let me know for question of the day. Do you guys want to see me give you guys guides on Pokemon Scarlet Violet when that game comes out? I'm not just talking about just, just like a playthrough guide. I'm talking about like guides on like how to breed Pokemon, how to get good IVs on Pokemon, uh, where to farm XP. Um, what else could I do? I can do like where a catch guy like all different types of guides for you guys Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see it There would be like five to ten minute videos just showcasing like little guides on how to become better at the at the uh, Pokemon Scarlet game But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below because I'm definitely thinking about doing that for you guys so I did a few in Legends Arceus. They did pretty well and it seems like you guys definitely did enjoy him But he does go Rillaboom and Xerneas. Okay, he ends up going these two and I feel like I could just go straight into an Airstream here and I could definitely yawn. So I'm thinking of doing just straight up yawning onto the Xerneas uh, here. Exactly what I'm thinking of doing. Go Airstream and then go right after the Xerneas. My plan. That's my plan. Because if, if I had to guess, he's probably going fake out into uh, fake out into Geomance. I would think that would be the play. But hopefully he's not faking out the Sylveon because could, this could be a huge play for us. Because I feel like uh, Airstream should be able to pick up the KO. We can probably use policy next turn if we have to. And he goes for a fake out and he does fake out the Sylveon. It's a little tough news. Definitely a little tough. But it's all good. He's gonna be an orb. That's an orb roll boom. That is an orb roll boom. Only if we had Zassian on the scene. Only if we had Zassian. 
So we get rid of his Robin, which is pretty solid. We'll take a nice little speed boost, and he is going to Geomance up. Um, the real thing is, do I max guard Denyon here? Or do I attack this, uh... Or do I just straight up attack this Pokemon right here? Hmm. I feel like if he Dynamax, he could just take me out in one shot. Probably should just win it. I, should, I probably should just proc. Actually, I couldn't have proc with this policy. Take out what if it just take me out? And then we probably wouldn't have been able to kill this Pokemon. Okay. But it's plus two on speed. We flinch this turn. We're going to get a little bit of HP back from the grass train. But yo, that fake out did a good chunk because he's Life Orb. I was wondering why I did so much. And I saw his uh, Life Orb proc. I was like, yo, what is this? <laughs> life Orb Rillaboom with fake out. I get using like a Life Orb Rillaboom, but like, I don't know. I don't know. He has Kyogre ready to go. Uh, any bad. I don't really mind that too much. Um, hmm. He's definitely Dynamaxing that. That Cernius. I think I might just. Actually, if he misses he turns, then we can't go to sleep, right? Text from status conditions. I'll have to go for Max Darkness. Just take out the Kyogre. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I might just Hyper Voice Cross. I could proc policy, but I feel like Cernius is going to do that. I'm gonna yawn. Do I yawn? I feel like he has to change train, right? Unless he just stays in and doesn't Dynamax. I'm just gonna yawn into the Xerneas. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He doesn't Dynamax. That's actually not bad. He's gonna proc my policy. We outspeed, which is huge. We outspeed, which is ridiculously huge. So we're gonna be able to take out the Kyogre, no problem. Good thing we didn't quick attack into this Pokemon, and Darkness is gonna fly. And then we can yawn this turn. That's actually not bad. So Darkness should KO all day. Yeah. See you later, Kyogre. See you later. Dude, that gleam does so much damage for no reason. Too much damage. I think we just max guard here. Put that Xerneas to sleep and then we can get after it that way. That has to be a play. Because if he Dynamaxes to change terrain so he doesn't go to sleep, he would attack my Yveltal, right? Makes some move sense. And if I max guard it, we can stop him from uh, stopping any terrain. We can kind of go from there. We'll see. He wants to go cash on. I'm not worried about it. You can, you can Dynamax that Pokemon all day. I'm not worried about that Pokemon. Not in the slightest bit. And the reason I say that is because I have Rillaboom who can one-shot it all day. So I'm just going to do this, and I'm just going to protect, I guess. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. I am not worried about that Pokemon. Not one bit. One of the reasons why I brought in Rillaboom. He actually brought in Kyogre, too. But I just dumped on the Kyogre that turn. But yeah, exactly why I brought in Rillaboom. For this Pokemon and the Kyogre. Now, everything's working out perfectly. This match number one's looking beautiful for us. He's not going to Dynamax. We're going to double protect here. He's probably going for another Gleam, maybe? I was trying to think of like a setup move that uh, Gashon can do. But no, Gashon doesn't really have any setup moves. At least when I use it. Let's see what it does. He's going for an Ice Human. That's fine. That's fine. We're blocking the shots. We're going to say Night Night to Xerneas. Go to bed, buddy. Go to bed. So putting Xerneas to sleep. Ain't too shabby. It's kind of lovely. It's kind of lovely. And yeah, I think we're just. I think this match is like a wrap, right? We kind of just won this match, right? Let's look how much HP we're gonna get back. We get back a huge chunk of HP by attacking that thing. Oh, it's actually special defense. Boost. I think I take out Gash on here. Get back a ton of HP. It is gonna be. It is boosted in special defense. It is boosted in special defense. It's gonna be a sleep this turn, which is huge. Hopefully, it will be a sleep next turn. But Oblivion Wing. We take this thing out. More importantly, we're getting a huge chunk of HP back. Wow, I think it's really bulky. Really bulky. Still get a huge chunk of HP back. Look at that. Look at that. We love that. Hyper Voice is going to fly here. Let's send it that way. And take out the Gash. Yo, Sylveon? Why are you so strong? Why are you so strong? I hit really hard. Low key hit really hard. Yo, we're looking for a sweep too. We're killing it right now. We're killing it. We are killing it. All right, so from here, um, uh, hmm. Oblivion Wing's our best bet. He's special defense boosted, but I'm just going to keep Hyper Voicing Oblivion Wing. Hopefully he doesn't wake up this turn. And of course he wakes up this turn. <laughs> I'm dead. Uh, dude, I hate this game, man. <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm like, yo, hopefully he doesn't wake up this turn. And he wakes up this turn. Every single time. I swear. I swear, it's every single time. Every single time. Oh, okay, cool. He, he canceled the battle. I thought I was lagging for a second. But every time I say, hopefully this doesn't happen, that exact like scenario happens. But the dude just turns off a switch. You got to love that feeling, especially because we're not going to be playing Sword and Shield too much longer.
It feels good to make somebody rage quit one last time before Sword and Shield goes out. Maybe that might be your last rage quit. You never know. Maybe we'll make this opponent rage quit. But we're hopping into our second battle. Looking for a second win. And we're going up against some cool teams today. This guy's rocking a Lugia and Kyogre team with Garchomp and Corver Knight. Then he also has Raichu and uh, one shot in the back end, but really cool team with some really cool Pokemon. But I definitely got to bring Rillaboom again. Anytime I see Kyogre, Rillaboom has to come out here. I could definitely see him leading the Raichu or the Whimsicott alongside maybe like Lugia. That is definitely an option for him. So I might want to lead my Kyogre. I could definitely go my Kyogre. Bring my Rillaboom in the back end. It's not too bad. Whimsicott, Kyogre. Could be pretty solid. I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging it. You know, let's do it. So let's go Whimsicott, Kyogre. Bring my Rillaboom in the back end, and then I, I feel like we have to bring Yvelta. Yvelta is super effective up against that Whimsicott, up against that Corviknight, because we have a fire move. I think I'm just looking at it. Hmm, or I could go. I could actually. Let's go. Let's go Whimsicott, Yvelta. Whimsicott, Yvelta as a lead. I like that, because we have fake tears as well. Then go Kyogre. So I have a weird feeling he's, he's leading the uh, Lugia. In that case, I could just fake tier it, Dynamax, have Darker War, pop it as well. And maybe pop my weakness policy at the same time. We can really get that. So, we have a lot of different options here with our leads. But, yo, DK Trading, what a team, yo. You made a banger of a team. I'm loving this team so far. Really rolling out strong. He's really rolling out strong. But let's see what he does. Let's see what our opponent does. Corp Knight and Lugia right here. Looking sick. Okay, so, yeah. Great, great, great switch up for us. Great switch up for us. So I feel like we just Dynamax uh, Yveltal again. Pokemon's so strong, yo. Yveltal is so strong. Especially with, like, weakness policy or life orb. It's just too strong in the Dynamax form. But, yeah, I can... I can just straight up fake tears. Right? Straight up fake tears, yeah. Which I think I'm gonna do. Go fake tears to get rid of it. I'm all about it. So we'll go fake tears. I think I just Dynamax in Darkness, right? It is physical, but... Let me see our uh, stats. What is our stats? I think Instinct should have went Dark Pulse, but I feel like its stats aren't, like, too bad. Oh, its attack stats not too bad. Special attack is obviously a bit higher, but still. Super effective move I'd rather go into. Let's darkness up here. Let's do it. Let's just take out the Lugia. Just get rid of Lugia. If he Dynamaxes, he probably is going to be able to eat it, but still. If he Dynamaxes, we're going to take a huge chunk of damage. And then just Tailwind X turn kind of takes some speed. And get rid of it later. I wonder what Corbin I think. We're right, so sick, dude. One of the coolest regional birds. I'm actually a big fan of the next regional bird in Scarlet and Violet. If you guys haven't seen, it's a... I don't know if I should spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. But I'll, I'll, I'll let you know the type. It's an electric and flying bird. I love it. I love it, dude. I love it. I think it's really cool. I think it's a cool bird. I definitely think it's a cool bird. I love its typing, and I and I love its, uh, I love its design, kind of. And what it's based off of. I think it's cool. All around. But I won't spoil it for you guys. For the people who, who uh, don't look at le leaks, but I've seen every single Pokemon from Scarlet Violet. I checked out all the leaks, and I kind of have to because I'm planning on doing playthroughs and all that good stuff. And, like, uh, I have to plan stuff through. But he's going to end up... Oh, yo, this is sick. Gigantamax and Corviknight. This is a Gigantamax Corviknight. That thing's so sick. I think it looks cool. But its move, I don't think it's anything crazy. But we're just going to be able to take out Lugia, no problem. I guess I'll flare that next turn. And I really don't want to go into a fake tier because I do remember this... Uh, the Corviknight has an ability called Mirror Coat, so it will reflect anything. Wow. Wow, wait a minute. What am I doing? That's a physical attack and move. I just faked here that thing. Just use a physical attack and move on it. And yeah, it does have Mirror Armor, so we are going to have our special defense dropped. Yeah, I should just Air Streams. It's going to Aero Blast here. Okay, that ain't too bad. We took that up pretty well. And he's going to be Orbed. And then he's just going to go for a Steel Spike, go after my Whimsicott, right? He goes after my Whimsy. And Whimsy eats up with the Sash. But yeah, I believe its move takes off screens. I think that's a thing. So he's going to get a defense boost. Um, do I just flare the Corbin Knight and try to get rid of the Lugia with a Moonblast? I don't even have Moonblast. Don't I have just have Giga Train? Ah, I don't like this game. Uh, I guess I can take some speed. Not too worried about the Lugia. I'm just going to flare into the Corbin Knight. Wow, I could have had the Lugia dead. I could have just dropped that Lugia here. I'm just going to set up a Tailwind. If Lugia goes out here, or not Lugia, if uh, Wimshot goes out here, we'll have Tailwind set up for a Kyogre. And I feel like Kyogre can just pretty much like sweep out. Even though I'm setting a Flare. I'm just trying to get off some damage on the Corviknight. Corvo. The Corviknight. Which didn't really do too much damage. Really didn't do too much. 
Let's see what he does here. He's just gonna recover. And I'm fine with that. I guess I'm fine with that. Good job his defense again. He's gonna go for another steel spike. Take out my Moonscout, please. Cool. Right, I'm fine with that. I feel like we could just take out this uh, Lugia, no problem. With a water spout. I think it's gonna be my play. I think I'm just going to... I think I'll just airstream. I don't know. Do I airstream? Yeah, I think I'll just airstream. Kyogre. I'll just airstream into the Corviknight. I mean, Corviknight's not going to do anything crazy. But airstreaming into Corviknight is probably going to be our best bet because A, I don't want to change up the rain weather. B, I do not want to get mirror coated. And I don't feel like dropping my special defense again. And then C, when Tailwind ends, I feel like it could be pretty good for us all around. But I'm just going to go for this water spout that should be able to take out the, uh, the, the Lugia. Lugia should be gone. Minus two on, on special defense already. We got the rain boost. We have the stab boost. Come on now. And it's Kyogre. You guys know how much damage Kyogre does with Water Spout. It's an absurd amount. It's an absurd amount. We go for an airstream here. Dude, like four HP of damage. <laughs> dude, dude, do like four HP. It's all good. And get that speed boost again. And then we're just going to Water Spout. Which should say bye-bye, Lugia, right? Yeah, cool. Dope. And it does a good amount of damage to Corbinite. That did a nice chunk of damage to Corbinite. Which I love. And this thing's rocking a berry. He said, hey, yo, let me eat up. Let me peck up on this berry. Citrus berry. He's going to go for uh, G-Max Wind Rage, which is a pretty cool move. Pretty cool move. It, it's just like, it looks like Airstream, but it has like raging red around it. So I think it looks really dope. Looks really dope. But again, it's not too strong because it really only just takes off screens. So it's very like niche. It's very situational. But at least we have to see this Pokemon. He's going to go into Garchomp. I can just Ice Beam that. I mean, I could. Get me wrong, but I don't think I am. I don't think I am. Actually, I think I'm just gonna Origin Pulse to finish off the Corviknight. Actually, I could Water Spell. Yeah, you know, no, 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 no. That's GG's. That's GG's. We got this one on lock. We didn't touch my Kyogre. This is easy, easy Water Spout into an easy Oblivion here. Just to get some HP back. Easy. This is light work. This is light work. We're about to be 2 0. Killing it. Killing it with these legendaries. But yeah, dumb play by me in the beginning, but hey, we have Kyogre in the back end to kind of help us out. I really faked here and then went into a physical sticky move and I did only like half HP when I should have killed the Pokemon. But it's all good. It's all good. We have Oblivion Wing here. We're gonna get back about 30 HP, maybe even more. Ah oh, wow. Actually a lot more. 60 HP. Water Spout flies through here. It says bye bye to both of them, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Kyogre's just too good. You just not you're just not beating my Kyogre. You're not beating my Kyogre. This Pokemon's way too good. But yo, Scarlet and Violet, yo, I cannot wait. It's gonna be so hype. It's gonna be so hype. Just like, I just remember when Zord and Shield came out. I just had so much fun playing with every single Pokemon. I was like, dude, I have like 500 Pokemon to try out. And then the DLC came out. I was like, oh, yeah, look, I got another 100 Pokemon to try out. And it's gonna be cool even like reusing some Pokemon from Sword and Shield in Scarlet and Violet because there's whole new mechanics. It's a whole different rank series. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But he ends up going into Kyogre as his final Pokemon. It's over with. I'm just gonna go into this Oblivion Wing. I'm gonna go into a Thunder. I think our opponent cancels, right? No, he doesn't. He stays in. He says, hey, yo, Jeans, I'm here to fight. I'm saying, nah, yo, you're not winning this battle. So we go for a Oblivion Wing, and I'm back up at full HP. Did nothing to my Yubelto. Yubelto is back in action. <laughs> Thunder's going to pop here. We're sending it over to him. If he's going for a Water Spout, doing like no damage. And we just straight up KO. We just straight up KO. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. GG. 2-0 to get this video started. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Look for a perfect record. Final battle coming at you guys. This should be an easy one for us. He has no restricted mods. Maybe I should just bring in no restricted Pokemon. I feel like doing that. Maybe give us a challenge or something. We'll go in with everybody but a restricted Pokemon. And probably have Roboom as our Dynamax Pokemon. Let's see it. Might have to go for him, even though his attack's kind of low. Do, do we make it a challenge for us, or do we just or do we just end this game? Or do we just end this? I'm going to go Roboom as a lead. And I might go Wimpscott. I mean, he could pop a Trick Room. I feel like we don't even actually need Wimpscott. So I'm not even going to bring Wimpscott. I'm going to go... I'm, I'm going to bring one restricted Pokemon, but I'm not going to Dynamax it. Actually, I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm going to bring Roboom as a lead. I feel like we just bring Kyogre. I feel like it's just a perfect little setup. We can kind of roll, roll out strong from there. But yeah, I'm going to go in with them too. I'm not going to bring in the third one. I'm just going to go with War Sylveon. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for the Sword and Shield video. But yeah, no restricted mods for this guy. I, I mean, we could have obviously just went into like Sylveon and... Uh, you belt all again and just Dynamax quick attack proc two weeks policy and go from there, but it just seemed too easy. It just seemed too easy. 
I didn't, I didn't want to do them dirty like that. I didn't want to like, I don't know, just make that video for you guys. But yeah, I had to find a match. This, uh, this next match is on casual ladders, considering I can't find any rank battles. I guess everybody's just getting ready for Scarlet and Violet. And everybody's just kind of like done with this game, so no one's really touching as much. But hey, I'm still making you guys some content, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. But he's going to go P2. He's going to end up going into Incineroar, and I'm just Dynamax to Ogi. I like Dynamax. Actually, Rubem's faster, and, and I have Fake Out, so I'm just going to Fake Out and go into a... Uh, Go into a water spout. It's a pretty simple play. It's a pretty simple play. It's a pretty easy play for me to make. The intimidate flies. No prob, no prob. And yeah, I mean, Robin's faster. I have fake out. I might as well fake out his fake out user. And then go into a water spout. I mean, I don't think water spout KOs a P2, but still, if he stays with Incineroar, it's see you later, dog. Let's get Tony the Tiger out of here. Tony the Tiger. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about uh, Super Smash Bros. the other day. Other day. I wonder, like, what Pokemon they're going to be adding next in Super Smash Bros. It's got to be, it's got to be, like, Cinder, I would say Cinderace, but, like, I feel like they already put in a Fire Starter with Charizard, and they just put in Cinderace as the most recent Pokemon. But I feel like they would have to do, like, a Gen 9 representative, right? Like, someone from Gen 9. Uh, and, like, after looking at all the Pokemon, I don't even know who they would do. I don't even know who they would do, but when we're going for a Fake Out, lovely. Chipping up some damage. And he changed up weather too. Oh, that was a good play. That was a great play. Wow, we probably would have KO'd. We probably would have KO'd P2. That would be close. P2's able to pop a trick room. That's alright. I guess that's alright. And I mean, we could just straight up Dynamax here. Could straight up Dynamax if we want to. I'm wondering if, uh. I am really wondering if a Grassy Guy can take out that. That, uh, ice Pokemon right there, that Obama said, but I don't think it can. I do not think it can, especially because we're minus one, and it's like, it might be four times weak. It might be four times weak. Right? Then that, that, that kind of sucks. I could swap you. Go into Incineroar here, which, eh, is okay. And I wish I had Yveltal. <laughs> Yveltal would be awesome. <laughs> Yveltal would be perfect. Uh, I'm gonna go into. I'm gonna go into Incineroar here. I might just. Dynamax. Let's just Dynamax here. Just straight up Geyser or even Ice Beam. I'd rather Geyser into the. Uh, I'd rather Geyser into the P2. Get rid of him. This P2 could be mad annoying. That's exactly on window. That's exactly on window. But yeah, I feel like this match would have been so easy. We're actually giving us a challenge. He's in a, he's in a good position here. Yeah, I, I could have definitely just let the belt on. And Sylveon in that in that first thing. Could have been thriving. We could have been thriving. Or I could have just brought uh, Wimscott in as lead. But again, that just seemed too easy. I could just I was thinking of just bringing in Wimscott as lead. I counter trick room just like that, like instantly. Easy trick room. I have focus dash on me as well. I could have let Wimscott Kyogre just pose threats, pop the trick room myself to counter his trick room. We've been thriving out. We've been thriving out. So let's see how he plays this one. He's gonna go for a Blizzard, which is a little weird. A little weird on the blizzard, but I guess he wanted to do big damage onto the, uh, what's it called? I guess he wanted to do big damage onto my, uh, onto my Robin, but, yo, he drops Thunderbolt here. We are soaking up really well with our Soul Vest. We drop a guy, so we're going to say bye-bye to P2. Get him out of here. So, P2's gone. Um, I still might just Flare Blitz this, uh, I still might Flare Blitz this, this Obama Snow. Because I, I highly doubt he goes into his Sinor, just to fake me out. I feel like Flare Blitz, even in the rain, it's four times super effective to Obama Snow. It should just be able to take it out, no problem, right? Should just like rip up this Obama Snowman and just slam him on the ground and take him out. <laughs> I feel like it, it's just like, it's just too powerful up against him, even through the rain. So let's see, let's see who he goes into. We went to Gashon, and I, I'm cool with that. I can definitely see a Dynamax coming out from Gashon. Kind of scared of it, not gonna lie. But I do have the lovely Roll Boom in the back end to kind of counter up onto him. But so I'm gonna go for the Flare Blitz. And I'm just going to go for, I guess, a Hailstorm. I guess we change the weather back. Actually, I'm going to double down this Obama Snow. I can take out Gashon, no problem, with uh, with my Robin whenever I want. With my Really, Really. Actually, mm, we'll save my Really, Really. I'm thinking I'm thinking way too ahead. But I think he has to Dynamax Gashon here, right? He does not. He does not. Good thing Incineroar goes first, though. The least one flies, that does a nice chunk of damage. But this is actually going to work out pretty well for us. 
Considering Fireball 2 is first, I think Fireball 6 might have a problem. Right, see you later. Yeah, cool. So Fireball 6 him out. And Ail Swim's gonna slide over here, which I don't mind because we can't use any water moves until this guy shuts it out off the field. We're gonna Hail Swim. Yeah, I just looked over to my left where I usually keep my water. I usually always have water here. If you guys obviously been watching my videos, you guys noticed that I have a water like at all times when I'm always sipping on it. But I forgot my water today. I don't have it. I'm upset. I went to go for a drink. I was just like, where's my water? But that's not my wallet. I was upset. I was upset. Now I'm thirsty. Now all I can't think about is water. But we have a battle to win, and we're going to win it for you guys. Hopefully win it for you guys. I'm not, not going to get ahead of myself. Not going to get ahead of myself, but we end up getting rid of the Obama Snow. He's going to be forced to bring back out and send one. He has a Dynamax yet. He has not Dynamax yet. And he's going to go back into a Cinnamon. A little bit of fake out action rolling and do I just party shot into him? I don't feel like that's gotta be the play. Nice little parting shot action. Even though he might fake me out. I'll go for the parting shot and I'll just get rid of this gas show. I shall get rid of the gas show. See you later, gas on. I was saving I was gonna save the gas on KO for the Robin, but I mean it's really what only thing Kyra can do right now. I can't drop a water move with that thing on the field with the Storm Dream. So I might as well just get rid of it. He goes for a Snarl. Okay, I guess he's not Dynamaxing. I guess he said he didn't want to Dynamax. That's fine. It is fine. And I can bring out Sylveon on here for the end. Which would be nice. Muddy Water's going to fire. I don't even get off my pardon shot. That kind of hurts the soul. But still, Gavishon's going to drop out here. We're going to bring out Sylveon. And I can literally just outplay this. Uh, or not just outplay. I can literally just go into an Orange Pulse and finish off this and send after this. So it's GG easy. GG easy. Get him on out of here. Even with minus one, still take out Gastron. Yep. I think we can still take out Incineroar too. But yeah, this this last battle was light work for us. Light work for us. I can't believe it's been like three years since Sword and Shield came out. It really blows my mind that I've been playing this game pretty much most days for three years. And I honestly really still like it. I, I honestly really like Dynamax. I thought Dynamax was cool. I thought it was a great mechanic considering it was just like There was so many different strategies you could do because you could set up weather with it You could set up terrain. You can lower stats. You could boost stats like that so much versatility with it Which I really like I really do like it, but I'm just gonna pop into origin pulse I'm gonna go into hyper voice and I think our opponent just can't spell right Does not he lives eat Eat wave Yeah, nah, you know Get a burn though. Don't you dare show me two brands. That'd be upsetting. But hyper voice flies. Forge pulse lands, which it does. Should KO no problem, even though we're minus one. That should be GG's, right? Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0 and another perfect record for you guys in another sword and shield video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0 for today's video. Another perfect record. You guys gotta love it. Huge shout out to DK Trading. For sending this team, like I said, if you guys want to go check out social media pages, link will be down in the description below. But Sylveon and Yveltha absolutely dominated in today's video. You can just Dynamax Yveltha. It does work with the Sylveon and the Whimsicott. And then you have the back end three Pokemon with Willaboom, Incineroar, and Kyogre. And you guys know the power of those Pokemon already. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.